all right good evening so what's going on random thoughts and and uh comments i guess um currently resting the leg a little bit because i ran today three miles um the heel right heel still giving me a little bit of issues but that's a whole nother story um yeah so goals next month is the honolulu marathon once again a marathon is 26.2 miles of foot running so uh, unfortunately it is not on a bicycle which is always challenging um this is mainly i mainly do cycling but i do occasionally run and swim as i occasionally will do um a triathlon which i've only done one triathlon so far which is the honolulu triathlon but um i really enjoyed that a lot i did uh olympic distance i said forget the sprint sprint distance that's for the crazy crazy firecracker fast twitch guys i'll i'll stick to the more endurance stuff like olympic and um i wanted i actually did train up to a half um half marathon distance at one point last year but um of course um my wife and i were getting ready to have a son so uh, I had a lot more duties to do at home, uh, could not get the proper trainings in as uh, I uh, would have been able to beforehand. So um, fast forward to now, I have a son, he's six months old, I'm a dad now. Things are starting to boil down now and get a little bit more... Um, routine based and I'm starting to get the hang of it more I can start to go on longer rides and um, yeah I'm 33 years old so yeah I'm definitely probably past my cycling prime but I still like to race anyways I like the challenge um, so big goals for me for next year as this year is coming to an end 2016 is coming to an end going into 17 um so usually february last sunday of february is the very first time trial here in hawaii i'm going to change the angle to add variance to this video so um february 2017 um there's the what do you call it the makaha time trial which is uh 20k i believe it's yeah it's a 20k time trial uh balls to the wall um you know i'm gonna use my tt bike tt helmet tram s60 um deep section rims I do not have a disc wheel for the back so that's out of the question um, and I'm gonna use my Kestrel Talon TT bike um, so usually beforehand before that the weeks leading up I will do nothing but TT high intensity trainings um, over on uh, Coral Sea Road which is located in Barbers Point which is um, it's only maybe 10 minutes away from my house by bicycle so I like that road it really simulates a great tailwind going in and a really nasty headwind coming out um, which is kind of how the TTs go here uh, on the island because uh, because it is an island you're either going to be hitting a headwind on the start of the race or a tailwind um, 
depending on how the race starts in what direction um, because it's an island it's round and you're basically racing on the perimeter of the island um, the only TT that is not on the perimeter would be Tantalus time trial which is a mountain hill hill stage time trial uh, that is only 3.5 miles but it's 1400 feet of climbing and I'm not, a, not really a climber either so I'm not really too excited about that TT the guys who win it usually um, break under 20 minutes and that is absolutely not me my best time on Tantalus TT, I believe, was 31 minutes. Yeah, so that's 3.5 miles, 1,400 feet of climbing. Um, that's, yeah, that's something else. That's usually the second race of the year. And then you have new stuff like Pineapple Sprint, which is also a hill sprint race. Yeah, Pineapple Sprint, it's a hill sprint race and um, that um, is also a hill climber's dream race. I mean, if you're a hill climber, that would be your dream race. Um, yeah, that's a fun one because it's a mass start and basically whoever makes it to the top of the hill and through the finish line first is the overall winner. Um, that starts in the North Shore Marketplace and ends on the top of, of Dole Plantation on um, just past a really popular coffee cafe called Green Road Farms. Um, then what comes up after that? After that I believe would be Pineapple Hill Road Race which would be the same area but three laps of Pineapple Hill and downwards down Snake Road three, and that ends up being something like 45-ish miles and if you're in the Elite Cat, one, cat 2, Cat 1 category then you'd actually have to do five laps of it which I'm not in that category um, I'm in the Novice Men's Cat 5 if there was a Cat 6 yeah, I'd probably be in the Cat 6. But I like racing for the fitness aspect and the challenge and the social aspect. Um, I have only won one uh, time trial and it's kind of because I was in my own category. Fixed gear uh, Malekehana State Time Trial Championship 40k which I did on a fixed gear bike and it was nasty winds that day that was about three years ago and um, no one else ro rode fixed gear in that category that day so I automatically took the prize so snooze you lose on that one yeah so next race after pineapple pineapple sprint or pineapple road race would be Malikehana State Time Trial Championship, which is the official Hawaii State 40 kilometer Olympic distance time trial. Um, that one is a seriously fast one. Guys who win it usually roll in, I, I believe, under one hour. So the fastest I think to my memory that I've witnessed was under 54 minutes not exactly sure I would have to look up the, the results again but yeah that's a different one um what else then there would be things like um non races just some um, events safety events like um the 100 kilometer metric century ride on the North Shore, Haleiwa. 
um, which is I think Hawaii's most popular non-race um, educational ride um, really well staffed there's a lot of pit stops to get uh, snacks and drinks um, what else then after that would be um, Olamana Road Race which is a small um, farm area that had well not really farm area a small back road area in Waimanalo which has four three or four little hill climbs um, some are uh, steeper than others but it's a short three mile lap um, and it's about 15 I want to say it was 12 laps for novice 15 laps for for um, cat one cat two expert uh, I've only done that race once that was pretty brutal it seems to always rain on that race morning um, and you start to lose count after lap nine seven eight nine and everyone's screaming as you're passing through the checkpoint so you don't really know what lap you're on and you start to lose your mind after a while kind of like a crit um, I've only done one crit so far and it was pretty chaotic as well but um, what else is there the one that I'm missing is Castle to Hanama time trial which is also a 20k and that has a hill finish, hilly finish over towards Hanama Bay um, that's a really fun one usually rained out as well you start off on a slight hill then it flattens out through Aymanalo and then it starts to kick up and climbing again so kind of half the crowd uses a TT bike the other half uses a road bike but either way you could probably get great times and that's um, a really long standing time trial that's been going on I want to say since the 70s um, Hawaii's oldest race is the Tantalus time trial the one that I mentioned as the second race um, then there is the granddaddy that um, all the serious cyclists serious serious versus non-serious all the serious or an ultra serious cyclist um, usually do the serious and ultra serious um, race is called the Dick, the Dick Evans Memorial Road Race which is 112 miles around the island of Oahu and I've done that twice and it's balls to the walls race once you pass the neutral zone it's a neutral start um, from Waikai all the way to Kunia which is about 25 miles either 25 or 30 miles and then after that uh, the very beginning is a hill start everyone guns it up the hill and you're going from neutral to boom the gun goes off you're going and you're 25 miles in everyone's warmed up everybody's revving a go everybody's anxious gunning it up that hill trying to get your heart rate down and I'm not a hill climber so usually I go too hard on that section heart rate explodes gets out of control and then I pay for it after that trying to get my heart rate back down and ease mm -hmm. into it but um, that's a 112 miles that's an epic 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 the guys who win now and usually come in just under five hours either under five hours or I don't really remember it was always a blur at the finish line maybe under four hours no 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 not under four hours I think the fastest was between 430 and five hours yeah 
for the overall winners of that. Um, yeah, which that was the that race I just mentioned was the precursor to the Big Island uh, Ironman World Championship on Kona. Um, this Dick Evans 112 mile on Oahu was the precursor to that uh, being set as 112 miles. Yeah. Okay. So those are races for Hawaii and some of the personal goals that I want to continue for road racing. Um, what else? Personal goals aside from racing, double century ride, most I've ridden ever in 24 hours was 176 miles in one single ride. I was attempting 200, body failure at 176. Um, what else? Greatest feat on the bicycle, racing Maui's Haleakala, which is the world's steepest paved climb, which is 10,014 feet from ocean level to the summit of Haleakala. And that is a gut wrencher. That is, is hardcore. And I would love to do it again because I enjoy riding bikes. And that's why I have an 1136 cassette on my tarmac. For those who look at my tarmac and they're like, why in the hell does he have mountain bike gearing on that bike with a mountain bike rear derailleur? It's because I'm going to some crazy ass places that usually no one else goes to. Alright, that's it for this um, rant about racing in Hawaii and there will be more